Hey everybody, this is Vince Gilligan, the executive producer of Breaking Bad. It's Brian Cranston, that's the back of my head. <laughs> uh, I'm Aaron Paul. I am Tom Schnell. I am. Hey, Jonathan, give yeah, me a break. Care, <laughs> yeah, come on. Hold on a Tom, second. We just wait Shut one up, second. Tom, Tom Schnauz, writer, writer, director of the goddamn yeah. episode. <laughs> no, Jonathan. Wow. Well, now you were not on my face. <laughs> Hello. Then, <laughs> Hello, audience. Hello, <laughs> audience. I love you. <laughs> and I'm here, too. This is Skim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Skim. Hey, hey, guys. Skim. How you doing, buddy? Skipper. Skipper. How's everybody? There I am. Skip, our wonderful editor of this episode. So this was yeah. uh, out in in the middle of nowhere, and it was a very cold day. Remember and it was, windy it was so <laughs> windy. Windy. Windy, windy. And cold. We could not keep our eyes open. Yeah. Yeah, this first shot, the wind was blowing yeah. right in your faces, I remember. Yes. This is actually right near Q Studios. Yeah. And right now, there's a bunch of houses over there. When we scattered this location, it was pretty empty. And then the day we got there, there was a big green fence. <laughs> the direction I had wanted to shoot, so we had to rotate everything sort of 90 degrees. To... And you couldn't move the big green fence? Couldn't move the big green fence. And all these angles on, on Declan here, there were there were houses back there that our post people so kindly painted out of the, uh, the picture, which is still amazes me that they're able to do that. So. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, Tom. Now let me talk, all right? Go, go. Now, this is a big scene for you. It was so, it was so hot. Well... <laughs> Wait, wait, you know what? Listen to the writers back each other's play. Listen, to, I've never heard Gilligan laugh that loud in my life. I'm tickling him also. You can't see that. So Jonathan's recording in, in, Jonathan Los, Angeles. Is in Los Angeles, but That's I'm right. here now. Jonathan Skipper, with... L.O. <laughs> tickling Vince. Yeah. <laughs> Louis Ferreira is the yeah. actor playing Declan. That is he's right. Terrific. Yeah, he's great. Doesn't he look like Wolverine? Yes. He does. He looks yes, like Hugh Jackman. Yes, he does. <laughs> Cranston has a man crush on Hugh Jackman, I think. Is that right? Yeah. I, I have a man crush on him. Yeah, I do. I, I mean, who doesn't, though? I have a man crush on him as well. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, how was the scene for you? I remember I had dinner with uh, Mr. Slovis and Brian Cranston a, a week or so before this, and Brian had not read the script, and I had said to him, the teaser is pretty much a six-page, seven-page monologue from you, and he was all excited about it, and I didn't think that... Poor Aaron and Jonathan are standing there for, <laughs> for take after take. Take after take was uh, just getting sandblasted. Sandblasted, yeah. Um, it was great. Was it, was it really? It's funny. You can't tell the wind is blowing. You can see, look at my eyes. Um, that, that's me just squinting, trying to keep the yeah. sand out of my eyes. Yeah, again, but, because, because we had to rotate the sea. I was going to totally stage this in a different direction, but un unfortunately, because we had to avoid that big green wall. Now, Brian and you can see squinting oh, and Aaron God. and everybody yeah, they're squinting. looking right into the sun. <laughs> and they're 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 fine on that side. Yeah. Look at look at my face. I just saw us because they were better actors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you guys were hung over. I thought it was a combination. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of drinking. The crew switched to a P two P cook because of our success. You also look out at the desert like this at this desert's cape, and you cannot tell the temperature because you have no yeah. relationship to it. There's no blowing snow or trees. Bent down with yeah. fallen snow, or yeah. you, you have no idea. It could be middle of summer. Yeah, that is yeah, something. could have been. <laughs> it wasn't, <laughs> but it could have been. Oh, you want to? It was so hot out there. Yeah, yeah. All, all I heard was complaints. So I have to wear the jacket from Jonathan. Do we have to wear the jackets? <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just put the blame off on Vince. He said, yes, Vince wants uh, to wear the jackets. Now let me jackets. tell you something, Schnauz. Let me tell you something. My wife told me to be good today, yeah. so I can't tell you to go fuck yourself, all right? I can't <laughs> say that. Thank you. I'm so happy for that. <laughs> yeah, that my, uh, my, neighbor, my neighbor works on Parks and Recreation that Jonathan just had a great spot on. And, oh, yeah? and he said to me, oh, Jonathan's, I'm working with Jonathan Banks. I was like, oh, Jonathan's such a sweetheart. I love Jonathan. He's great. My neighbor goes, yeah, he told me to punch you in the heart. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. That's Jonathan. That's actually a sign of affection from Jonathan Banks. I, I miss, I miss, I miss that. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm so glad we killed you. Look at look at Jonathan's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Uh, <laughs> look at the pant legs. <laughs> yeah, this is the shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the first yeah, shot of the day. Over, yeah. That's when the wind was it's up. Just and I was so worried. I was like, oh god. Yeah. But luckily, the wind stopped by the time we got into the close-ups. And we and we got some nice cloud coverage. This is the second half of the day when the clouds rolled in because all the shots facing Brian were 
The sky is blue, blue, blue behind him. Luckily, most, I don't know, some people may notice, key right in on that stuff. I never tend to notice that mm -hmm. stuff when I'm watching a movie, which is good because it's hard to, you know, the clouds don't stand still for you. That's for damn sure. You know. This is a hell of a long oh, scene. No. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> it's endless. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm feeling every second of it. Yeah. Say my name. <laughs> Tell them about the goddamn, uh, Tom. I'm the cook. Tell them about what you want to well, say. But we get, we, we get, get one a we year. get one a year. We got to use we got to use a goddamn and a fuck in this episode. Which yeah. is nice. I won the lottery. <laughs> and episode. was this your uh, directorial debut? It was. Wow. It was. I had not directed anything since. Uh, I don't remember um, on the, uh, the on air screening of this. Did they bleep out the goddamn or did they no, allow they, that they, to go through? They let it through on air. They did. Yeah. It's uh, we get one a year. They uh, bleeped out the fuck, but not the the goddamn. Yeah. You get one fuck a year. You get one, yeah. <laughs> that's the first like in your life. I've been, I've been living under that rule for decades. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight's the night. <laughs> you get like a Vulcan or something. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, it's not my choice. <laughs> uh, anyway. It's not her choice either. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope the audience is learning a lot about yeah, the production. They are. They are. They bad are. Here. They are. We shot, yeah, we shot the teaser and this scene all in the same day. Yeah. And uh, so luckily it was, uh, you know, during a time when the sun stayed up. We're, right now we're filming in we January. We're fighting it. We're filming in January and the sun goes down so damn fast. But and here, what month was this what we were shooting? This was... Uh, I don't remember. June? <laughs> May or June? It was May, it? I think. May. Yeah. It was, yeah. The end of May or something? Yeah. And we were fighting it. You can notice that the sun is pounding it when, yeah. and it was yeah. like. But it wasn't as bad as right right now. Yeah. But. I got a nice ass, huh? Look at that. You do. Look at that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, huh? I miss it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was my one direction to Jonathan, was just keep bending over. Yeah, we well, just keep over. bending over. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, standing straight up, bend over again. Yeah. <laughs> and by the time I finished working with you, I felt like I'd been bent over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The scene where we could do the well scene, his back was actually in pain. I was like, I felt bad. I was like, why is your back in pain? He was out playing golf all weekend. Uh -huh. so uh -huh. I was like, oh. So. Uh, here's uh, Vominos. Vominos. This is an old uh, mechanic. Mechanics Garage, I think, right, is where we, we shot this? And yeah. We got to put up the real thing? Right there in Albuquerque near Gibson and San Mateo. Okay. Got to put up a real billboard, which is fun. I guess the billboard frame was there, and then we put up our... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, this, this, now, this, was, the this was the last, this is the last scene I had with, uh, That's right. with, with Jonathan Banks. Um, it, was, uh, it was very emotional on set that day. For, uh, for us. I love you, brother. You know, and God knows I hate to be serious, but this was a tough day. Yeah. It was. And it really. Uh, I, I mean, it, it was tough for you guys, but I loved, on some level, I loved seeing it. I mean, just how just how close you all are, how, how you know, yeah. your working relationship. You guys really are great together. Yeah, I mean, this scene right here, this is really, truly uh, the goodbye. Oh, hey. That's a nice shot. It's the last time the characters Guess see yeah. each other, right? Oh. Yeah. Guess I'll see you around. Well, last time, uh, yeah. Right yeah. The characters, yeah. Thanks. So. so this might be the shortest oh. act one in the history of Breaking Bad. I remember. Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> trying, right. to, trying to do all these fra framings where we could put, put credits, and I was really actively Good. pitching to Vince, let's just get rid of these names. Why do we need... <laughs> <laughs> Why Mark Johnson's name on the screen? I don't know. Yeah, over and over and over yeah. again. Stu Lyons, what does he do? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about that, Skip, because uh, like it's that. hard to fit all these names in here when the act's so short, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's really tough because you don't want to cover up the actors or, you know, what they're doing. And it was, Tom really made it difficult for us. <laughs> <laughs> he did, because there really is an art to picking... Your spots here because you don't want to cover the face, you don't want to be over the person's chin in a close up. And th there's a rule that has to be what? Is it up two and a half seconds each one? There's a there's yes. good rules about all that. Yeah. 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 I was, so I was trying worried. to find a shot long enough. Yeah, right. I was worried some of these final credits were gonna be over like a Cheerios commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to carry them through. On, on, on our, no, I on, on this show, more like the boner pills. <laughs> that's a, yeah. yeah, that's true. 
That's more our speed. Yeah. I should call it that. Keep it coming. Was that an S- SNL, Dr. Porkenheimer's uh, boner juice or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> we started out low, and then we managed to go lower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but not the lowest. Uh, not no. yet. We're working our way yeah, down. Yeah, we're working our way down. I like working at this car wash. The Octopus Car Wash in, in Albuquerque yeah. is our home here. Why do you like it? Well, it's just, it's so mechanical. Eh? It's, it's like a boy's dream with all yeah. these ma- the machines going and things moving. It's a, it's a great set to shoot on. You get, yeah, looking really. down that, that yeah. run where like the cars bats. go through and, yeah. you know, this is a nice silhouette we have so of that Michael Slovis shot coming up where, with Skylar walking away. I really want to know. Why are you hiding it here? Oh, don't worry about it. Who are you hiding it from? I said, don't worry about it. From the police? Or someone else? Someone who would kill for it? Why don't you go back in the office? Why don't you go back in the office and let us do this? We'll get but it. it's uh, unfortunate that we have to close down the whole car wash to shoot. You know, it's a, it's a big expense to shoot there, so we don't do it that yeah. often. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty shot. I love that shot, silhouette. Mm-hmm. Beautiful Michael Slovis lighting. Vince, did you tell did you tell Skip that he could drink during this whole thing? I mean, he's over here half loaded for God's sake. Stop it, Skip. No, I don't want to. <laughs> he's like that in the editing room too. Oh, what'd you bring me this time? They're bacon banana cookies. Is there bacon in these? Oh my Chris Freihofer and Kathleen Brady as our actors here. Kathleen Brady playing Dorothy Yobbs, which is my grandmother's name. Oh, is oh it? no kidding. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know I made, that. I made sure my grandmother's name got in the episode. Oh, I love that. Dorothy Yobbs. I tried to get into an X-Files episode, and whoever was the director at the time laughed at me, thinking it was a fake name. <laughs> I was like, no, Yobbs is a real name. What? What? I, what is that? What does that derive from? Yobbs. I don't know. It's sort of Yabaslowski. It something. must be, but I we have no. Eastern there's European no actual record of gotcha. where it came from. Oh, talk about building this place because the outside office was real, a real location. Yeah, this and, is all on set. Oh, this is on set. Yeah, they brought oh, all these wow. safety deposit. More, you know, Mark Freeborn, the genius that he is, and and yeah. W. Gilpin. I mean, they built this amazing set and designed it. And they brought in all these safety deposit boxes that. Whenever we needed to move, you know, the wall, right now we're shooting through a wall, which we had to remove with a forklift because these things were so damn, damn heavy. So every time we wanted to shoot this direction, see the walls there now, yeah. but when we were shooting the other direction, they had to roll in, lift it up and pull it out. Oh. And, and talk about the safety briefing, because these things, if they weren't braced right and they fell over on someone, they'd kill them. So they were that heavy, like 3,000 pounds show. each. They yeah. were pretty yes, heavy. It is. Yeah. I love this too, because that, that door did not close. In so the actual take, holding, and, yeah. the, and somehow, Skip, you guys managed to do some trickery where the, it, it looks like it locks. And the sound effects <laughs> yeah, helped yeah. tremendously. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because it, it did bounce a little bit when it went to close, so we fixed that. Yeah. Oh, such a good shot. How now? How did you? Uh, how how is the camera mounted? They had Aubrey the... and those guys. They uh, are, are grip. They designed a, a sort of a wrist mount that went underneath the coat, and they were able to attach uh, the camera to his back of his wrist. It was just great. That's I mean, great. Must have been a, like a GoPro or a, yeah. no? It wasn't a GoPro. It was like a it was a, the D. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. But that was yeah. Well, this is a fun fun sequence to do. You're a good grandpa. That's all I Yes, you say. are. <laughs> oh, good for something. <laughs> I like this uh, actor who played the uh, the dirty lawyer. Mm-hmm. Young Kaylee's going to need a second safety deposit box. Yeah, I, I, I think I worried a little bit about all this stuff of watching Mike put his affairs in order. I was I kept worrying, are we giving it away that he's going to not make it out of this episode? <laughs> Episode alive. But. Here's this picture of my boat. It's called Forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm going to retire on my yacht. Yeah. 
But hopefully people did not see it coming. No, I mean, people were just devastated at the end of this episode, I think. Which is a, a testament to Jonathan Banks, because he's, oh, he's, he's a yourself. guy who... Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice to you, you son of a I'll bitch. I'll be nice. <laughs> the dirty, dirty, dirty bastard. <laughs> He's a, he's a character who we first meet him in, episode, in season two. He slaps the shit out of our, our beloved Jesse. Yeah. And here we and are. And he hit oh, me bullshit. so he he Shut up. You, you shut up. up. He hit me so he hard. He did. Oh, and he was only supposed to hit me once. Tell me. You brick to my head if I ever have to make another fun run call. I'm done. What's up? Why are you smiling? Because the ermine trout warrant just came in. Oh, baby, now we're talking. How quick can you get your group together? Two, three hours. You make it two. You're gonna nail that son of a bitch. Uh, Here we are out in a location in an area called Algodonas. This is the Bos the Bosque, is that what it is? Yeah. Right near the river? Yeah, yeah right yeah. near where we shot the final river location. The this river was the, the uh... first thing and you can see Jonathan grabbing his back. That's after a weekend of playing golf. Yeah. <laughs> so talk about how this was done. This is very cool. Done? Yeah, this is cool. They 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 dug this hole on on location, which was only four feet deep or whatever. We couldn't go beyond four feet. Yeah, three foot ten or yeah, something. Yeah, three foot ten. It's a rule. It's an engineering yeah. rule or something. Yeah. What? And then on yeah. huh. back at the stage, the guys built this this big tube that was fifteen feet or something, yeah. and made it look like the well. And uh, this is actually much, this was a much longer scene. It was a, it was like a much funnier scene. That hopefully yeah. there's a DVD. Uh, there is. There's DVD extra or oh, Blu-ray. DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, Whatever it is. You is. <laughs> America being a wonderful country, it is. You have a series of choices. Multiple choices. Yeah. In your but it's an extra in some <laughs> format in your future. Yes. <laughs> We completely ignored the cat-like moves as I get up there for a 65-year-old guy and put those keys up there. Just, <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Was hey, you know what, Banks, it was pretty Thank beautiful. You. Was Thank good. you very much. Right, here's the, the man in the purple there is Philip Hart. He's an actual DEA yeah, agent. Yeah. He's a consultant uh, for us. Um, so we were, we were glad to give him some, some lines. Yeah. Yeah. So. He's a good guy. Has, he been, has good. he been around since the beginning? I don't know since the beginning, but for the last couple seasons, he's uh, yeah. he's uh, he's the real deal. He's a real McCoy, and he's just been very uh, helpful on a completely uh, uh, just you know just out of the goodness of his heart, helping us um, um, you know make sure that uh, all the stuff we do with Hank and Gomez is realistic and believable, and and squaring above board, and and uh, he's he's a great guy. DEA period has been great to us. Yeah, been wonderful. Great. During, during, during the pilot, they uh, we watched a video the DEA gave us on how to make. And they showed us how to. They make. They showed us how to make yeah. that. Yeah, we have a thriving side business. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, this is not a set, right? This is that this same? was actual the Vominos location. The this is yeah. this was our first day of shooting after a pretty long. We were at the airport and we did the exterior of Vominos, and then we did all this. That night, so it was a very long day for yeah for our actors. This is late at night. So were you nervous? Because uh, this is the last time I was with you, the last time you directed, and it was in the in the late eighties, and it was in NYU <laughs> Film School. That's right. When I was your your director of photography, he was my DP. Vince Viola was my DP on my student film. Yeah, uh, I love it. I entrusted him to be a DP on his on my film, and in his film, he dressed me up as a clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret sexual thing that he's got. Well, I did double duty. I was a clown slash. I was assistant camera on your. On That's your right. Too. You're a damn good clown too. But yeah. <laughs> this was a very seminal scene. Very big turning point. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this guys, was day one. This was this day, was day one. one yeah. Wow. This was the end of the day. And this is. I think we definitely went long this day because we wanted to get this scene right and and. You know, you guys were just this, I, amazing. So. I, if I remember correctly, this is a very so difficult scene mind. for me to shoot for some. And get out. There's a lot of, yeah, there was a lot of coming As together. You're, for you're manipulating him and, and just, and trying to get him to stay with you. And what we do? Be 
being the best at something is a very rare thing. You don't just toss something like that away. So, uh, nervous? Were you nervous the first time directing in decades? I wasn't. I mean, lucky. I mean, that was the great thing about doing it on this show with this crew and these actors is that I wasn't. I you were so calm. I wasn't nervous because I had been around you guys for so many different episodes yeah. and being on set with you that it. Uh, I felt. I felt like if I even if I, if I fuck this up, you guys are still going to make it right. <laughs> So I felt I felt like I was in very good hands. Yeah, I, thought I felt did. that way in the X Files when when I got my first shot at directing. Yeah, it's uh, I tell you, it's worth his weight in gold having a wonderful crew and wonderful actors. No question about it. So having working with these two guys, now does that make it easier or harder? Because these two, and I'm I'm not just blowing smoke because they're both sitting here with us. These two guys being the geniuses that they are, acting wise, is that. Is that a big weight off you, or is it like, no, it's boy, a huge I better, weight. It was a huge weight off me. Because <laughs> it could be, and obviously it should be, but the other way to look at it is, man, I better bring my A-plus game, because yeah. these guys are going to think I'm a monkey. You know? Aaron, you didn't think I was a monkey, did you? No, I thought you were, I thought you were great, but I, I, I love, when I, when I read this scene, it's just uh, such a huge, huge, huge turning point. Because it happened, what, am I supposed to just lie down and die with him it's done it makes me sick that it happened just like everyone else who has died in our but there was simple yeah simple directing tips going in just i mean you walk into a room like that and you think where to put the camera and and you if, when you're lining shots up you want to look into you don't want to be flat against the wall you want to look towards the corners you want to have the nice depth of depth back there right. and and not not put anybody against a flat surface it just just makes the whole the scene that much more interesting right. To look at, well, we're right in the middle of the of the room there, and you could see plenty of background and light emanating yeah. from windows. And, yeah, foreground stuff that always yeah. makes it noise. And going in, I didn't quite know what the blocking would be, and 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 Brian, you had this great stuff going back and forth between working on the equipment and coming back, and you know, Michael sets up a, a dolly track and and is able to just follow you going back and forth as uh, you know as you move. Which oh, it's on a dolly here. Oh. Yeah, behind behind uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Aaron looking at uh, at Brian. Oh, gotcha. We had two cameras on a dolly, so that every time he walked over, oh, laterally. Yeah, mm -hmm. every gotcha. time he walked over to the, to the equipment, we were able to keep Aaron in the frame, nice, and moving back and forth as he as he went. Nice. Do you want this money? And it was good. Brian already had this outfit. The, the whole thing he's usually wearing on his off days. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good look. That's true. It's a good look. I mean, you're so pure. You have such emotional depth. We should talk about the editing process here uh, that what goes into a scene like I this. Think, uh, I think Skip saved my ass on this uh, because I remember now watching this. It's like I had I had some difficulty with this scene. Don't you think? Do you remember? That? It was a long. Yeah, you had a couple of stops and starts. You first, yeah. Um, yeah, but when you picked but, up Brian, you always picked up in a great spot and and made my job easier too. And it's just you know you guys, you, both of you guys are just great, and it's easy to get into places if you'd stumbled somewhere. Mm -hmm. But most of the time you guys don't stumble, you just carry right on and it's it, it's easy to cut you guys. The biggest choice for me is deciding where to be, how wide I want to be or close or, because mm -hmm. you guys you guys are really good at, at I can cut in anywhere and, and it works really well. And uh, it makes it simple for me, not simple, but it makes it easier for me to, to get into places with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, how is an I mean, as an actor, how do you? Is it just the rhythm of of match? You know, how do you, you guys? You guys are very good at matching what you've done from take to take. Is it just instinct, or you just or you have to think actively about? Can't be that? talent, right? No, no, <laughs> no it's not talent. Uh, uh, well, there's there's part of you that doesn't want to be repetitive, right. or automatic, and do exactly what you did before because then it becomes by rote. It right. isn't, it's not fresh. Sure, that makes but sense. But working with it before, and that's why I wanted to go back to that. Um, to that table and work because I wanted him to come back in and start working. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to wrap this up. This fella does a nice job. He's been on the show since yeah. God, way back, Todd, season two. Yeah. Or, Todd Terry. Yeah. He's, Todd uh, Terry. He's always on the uh, on the screen. It, was he ever in person? <laughs> well, no, he's in person. But uh, this was one episode where, and it was kind of a big deal, oddly enough, to do this screen thing. That it, it would have been cheaper to have him in the room. It was a pain in the was ass to really? think of. Yeah. This is all. A lot of this now is burning. We had a, we had him offset on a little, you know, 
him and him in uh, Texas, his Texas location. Right. right. But he was just just you know, around the corner. Yeah, he was just around the corner, and we were feeding it in, and the the monitor here kept overheating and burning out and flickering. Oh, so no because kidding. we were recording with an actual little video camera, Skip was able to just take this stuff and just burn it in, burn it into these shots. Oh wow. So it's not that it wouldn't photograph it if it was live TV. It was just that you had technical issues had, and, and the and the, the whole intention was to do it just live and, and make it look like you're seeing it. But it but we were not having success technically this day. <laughs> now this wasn't a fine Sony product, was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say anything. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. There See, you if it had been a Sony product, See, it would, yeah, have, would have not have fine. Would not have yeah. We would have had no problems at yeah. all. Yeah. I really think Don't play favorites with it, Hank. You got a bigger job than that. I mean, I mean, forget the financial. It wasn't the live feed, Tom, out of sync though with with the visual, because it was delayed going through the the set. No, there was. We had some audio delays, which they ultimately corrected. Right. But then by that time, the monitor burned out. <laughs> so we were just doing it. You know, Dean was acting to a blank screen here. Yeah. Um, Most of the time. But hearing, yes. hearing, yeah, hearing it through his. Uh, and that's on the sound stage too, right? We've we've. This uh, is all said. This is actually Hank's office as well. They they move a wall. They move the wall, right? Yeah, make it look. Yeah. Because yeah. we used to shoot in the real building downtown Albuquerque right, for right. all the FBI, but it was such a pain in the butt because it was one elevator and you know a hundred crew people yeah. had to go up and down with all this equipment up one elevator, four floors or some eight floors. Whatever. I remember shooting out right outside the building yeah. where when Jesse was released and Wendy's waiting out. Oh yeah, for, yeah. And Lynn, one of our PAs, was trying to stop traffic, like uh, walking traffic. This guy from entering the building because yeah. they're shooting inside, and the guy just lifts up his shirt, and there was a gun in his like waistband. He's like, "I'm going in," and Lynn's like, "Okay, what a douchebag." <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> if Lynn was a good PA. He would have stopped that person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take one for the team. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Steve, uh, Stephen Michael Quezada does, does a very nice job in the scene. I, I like him. He's uh, yeah. like him in the scene a lot. He's good. Both these guys are great together. Dean, Dean yeah. and Steve. Daniel Waxberger. Where did the name Daniel Waxberger come from? I thought it came from you because I wasn't. I, I had named him something else, and then he, at some point, I got a note to change it to Waxberger. <laughs> oh yeah. So I know I didn't. I honestly don't remember. It was Fat Burger. It was Fat. Oh, burger. you know what? Because, a lot of burger. It was a lot of burger. <laughs> In and out burger. It was all kinds <laughs> of burgers. Because in uh, in Peter's episode, it's established that his name is Waxberger. So it must have come from Peter Gould. Oh, uh, okay. Because he signs in, and I think you see the name. It's oh, not spoken, but you see it written somewhere. That's what it was. Gotcha. Here's when we're cooking inside the houses still, right? Yeah. 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 Is that this was, a, a real house? No, this was no, a set. This was oh, a set. set, yeah. So in this season, a mix of those two things, real yeah. houses and, and set. Mm -hmm. All right, shall we get started? You know, this know. whole sequence was hard for me to watch and hard for me to read. <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh. Because you were being yeah. left out? Yeah, I was like, wait, He's got a new they're partner. cooking without me. I know, I want to cook crystal meth. And then they use this <laughs> brilliant <laughs> song. I want to Crystal do it. Blue Persuasion. No, that's the next episode. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's, that's the next episode. Yeah. You get with it for God's sake. <laughs> oh, this isn't when do they. You know where uh, you are. I shut the. This isn't uh, the. How the high are you right now? <laughs> I'm pretty high right now. No, shut um, No, we ended up using a monkey song for this. Oh, um, yeah, the monkeys. The uh, Michael Nesmith's mom oh, yeah. invented Whiteout. That is true. That is true. You just might have a fighting chance here. Okay. Well, here we go. I was surprised. Not that many people know this song, but this song was used in the Monkees TV series. It was used more than any other song. It appeared more in, in this, during the two seasons than any other song. I was busy watching Land of the Lost. I'm sorry. Did Jonathan fall asleep? Splits. I think we lost him. Oh, he's gone. He's sleeping. Thanks. When he's not on yeah, the yeah, screen, yeah, he, he doesn't care. Care. What's important? Is there anything important going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's important. Being in those monkey suits uh, are really. Yeah, you were exhausted. This oh was my a God. long shoot for you, and I remember. <laughs> this was a, this was the last day of the shoot. Well, when you I wear think. that that outfit, that Tyvek, it's so it, hot. It doesn't breathe. There's no air that circulates, and so when you have the full headgear and mask and everything, 
And this was a great... It, really, it doesn't take long before you start sweating. I love seeing the sequence come together and our ass assistant editor, Sheridan, I think did a lot of the work on this, right, Skip? Yes, yeah, she did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I saw this, I was like, all right, Jesse's gonna die soon. That's what I was really? thinking. Oh, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, Jesse's being replaced. You've always been paranoid about it. I know. That. Do you worry about anybody else except yourself? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, it's always, oh, am I gonna die? Or are they gonna kill me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the it's the sticky guy. Sticky guy. guy. We got I got it's, a free sticky out because of Vince this. Vince uh, Vince Pro Vince uh, Vince Prophet is that his name? I know it's Vince. Vince I, don't, I forget his last something. name. Yeah. But uh, it was all worth it because we got a free sticky. We got a free sticky. <laughs> For some reason, I love this part of the... Yeah. That's great. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. And look, if you look real close in the middle of the frame, you can see the tram up, go up and down the oh, mountain. Yeah. See yeah. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Sandia tramway, I think. Wow. Yeah. Cool. The CO2 freezes the liquid, crystallizing it, which gives us our finished methamphetamine. I love Brian's reaction here after Todd says, oh. it's going to take me a little while to figure this out. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, we're done. Wow, this is um, and Jesse Plemons here, excellent actor, Jesse, excellent yeah, young great actor. Jesse Plemons, probably the best young actor we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, <laughs> certainly, uh, you know, helping out with Aaron, the method. Aaron, method. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, sweet pea, stand up and punch him in the heart right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet pea. The finest of his generation. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I agree. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. He is an excellent young actor, but yeah, I, I too, watch this scene and I miss Jesse. Yeah. I miss right, him. He is Jesse. Well, he is Jesse. Oh, yeah, that's what on. I meant. I miss no, 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 him. No, 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 Let's talk, Let's talk Ryan. <laughs> oh, the cake pops. Yeah, the earlier, the, in the earlier scene, we had some bacon banana cookies that were inspired by my wife, who made bacon banana cookies for Vince. She made them for Vince, not for me. Hey. And the cake pops were uh, were inspired by our Jenny Hutchison. Ah, who, so great. Uh, who brought them into the office one day. So he's like, oh, we got to get them in the episode. Those are, I love those cake pops. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> we should sell those. <laughs> I love this shot. I love, uh, I, love, yeah. I love Steve's reaction there. He's just so happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. I love that reveal there. That's one of those poetic license reveals because technically you figure he you might have heard the door yeah. open, but yeah. it, it still works for me anyway. I love it. <laughs> I love this scene too. I love this wander here. Sometimes a wander is the absolute best way to go. Just one shot, no editing, no. Uh, I mean, no, it no, certainly no, helps nothing. in production because you get to it, you get move on. But when you get to post, it could present issues, it's, you know, timing wise, it could be too long. You're right. It's you're right. Yeah. And of course, this this cut was 15 minutes over <laughs> in, the, in the first version. So your first like version was poor, 15 poor minutes. skip. I think, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, we had some work to do to get some time out. <laughs> 15 minutes over. It was long. It was long. Was it yeah. that long? Seriously? It was long. Yeah. Dean's scenes suffered the most. There was a lot more. Well, we got the whole well scene with Jonathan throwing stuff down the well, and then some of Dean's scenes got cut down pretty. As they should. Yes, they right, should. I mean, yeah. that makes sense. Nobody, <laughs> nobody really cares about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the but first. here's a Dean scene we kept, which is very funny. I love. I, I look at it more like a Brian scene, <laughs> right? <laughs> With Dean in it. This is true. Yeah, I, yeah, I could, I could, I could see that. Yeah. What to do? I mean, what? This is a great scene. What can I do? <laughs> I love that. I can't tell you how many times it ended. Do it again. Say it. Do it one more time. What can I do? <laughs> <laughs> It's the great. I love the glance. It's so that good. Throws. There's a glance he throws over to to Hank here to see is, is this working? Is what I'm doing working? Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's and he and, to get and out Dean is so great. Oh, look at this. 
And there's Vicky. 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 I love Vicky. She's very sweet. She's been with us since season one. Yeah. She's been with us since the pilot. Yeah, so, as, as, as a stand-in. And as Anna's stand-in. As Anna Anna's, Anna Anna's, Gunn's stand-in. Yeah. Stand-in meaning, you know, when, when the actors, they block out the scene, then they have to go get their makeup on and whatnot, and then a person of equal size and coloring stands in the spots uh, uh, for the lighting folks, uh, for Michael Slovis and the folks to get the lighting right and the camera right. So, yeah, Vicky's been with us since day one. Before this episode ends, I want to say also, having directed this episode, you know, directing for the first time, big shout out to my assistant director, Nina Jack, who oh, I, yeah. would not have survived any of this without her. She just made it so much easier. For I me. heard, in fact, she did direct this episode. <laughs> <laughs> she did. I was, yeah. You know, she's, she's training for the Iron Man right now. That's right. Yeah. She's an she's Iron Man. Tough, she's tough. Yeah. yeah. She's tough. She, she's adorable. She doesn't, she does, she seems she's the sweetest thing ever, but, but she doesn't look like someone who would necessarily be a triathlete, but yeah. she's, yeah, she's tough. That around that son of a bitch. That's great. That's he great. Something he shouldn't have. <laughs> that's a great shot. That's a nice shot. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Did Nina come up with that? Yeah. She did, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> she told me, Tom, put the camera there and have the yeah. feet swinging like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this is one, right of the, one of the scenes when I was reading, I, I just was screaming at the end. Yeah. JB, you did a fine job in this one. Thank you, brother. Sounds the nice Ryan. The little... How do you like... Uh, I gotta your, tell you, the, yeah, the little girl. The little girl is yeah. growing up, and she hadn't seen yeah. much of the show, and I really... I grabbed her parents and I said, "You got, you can't do this." He said, "You got to let her watch it." And I stood there and I told her what it did and all that. So now they're letting her watch the show. Where are you now? I'm at the park. She's still a little young. No, she's wow. not. If you that's talk a, to her, if you that's talk, some bad advice. That's thanks. not wrong. If yeah. you <laughs> talk to her, you would be surprised how mature she is. And she's no, and no, she's, older, she's, a, she's older than she looks. Matured and now scarred. Yes, <laughs> she's twenty-seven, scarred. right? And, and she's twenty-seven year old. And ain't we all? That's true. She's good. Kaja, Kaja Bales. Right. Yes. She's very sweet. Very sweet, sweet girl. girl. She was a little. She was under the weather that day too, so she was also oh, yeah? trooper. She had some stomach issues, and she. Yeah, so I had her swinging upside down. <laughs> and, but she was oh, nice yeah, enough to so, to go. Uh, I did not know she's a little trooper, isn't she? Uh, she yeah. was. She was yeah. devastating. How painful to to play this out, JB. Yeah, it was. Nice shot. I like that. The one, the one aspect of Mike Ermatraut that is vulnerable, and it's pushed to the limits right here. To leave, he's got to leave his granddaughter. Ugh. I was standing here, and Charlie was standing next to me over there with the board or whatever. And I said, Charlie, would I leave her? And Charlie said, No, you wouldn't. And uh, that's pretty much what got me to whatever. Whatever that is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a wonderful moment. Yeah. That clown of a lawyer. He's so great. I was, I was very, uh, not to toot my own horn, I was very proud of that little bit of writing it, of him calling out yeah. Mo, Larry, and Shemp, yeah. not yeah. Curly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shemp, yeah. That was the you know, it's funny. The, the older I get, the more I like Shemp. I used to like Curly, but Shemp is... Shimp, shimp is underrated. Yeah, I think so too. I, I think he was a more soulful, depthful actor. And I'm serious. I, I'm not even yeah. kidding. This is the it was another thing. brother. Yeah, well, there yeah. was Zeppo. There was. A, oh, the wrong brothers. Uh, oh, there was boy. Curly Joe Dorita. There was. A, yeah. He was a brother. Yes, he was. He was uh, one of the uh, one of the Howard brothers. Howard brothers. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, what we're coming up on is uh, Jonathan's last day of shooting. This, him in the car was his last day. In the, I love uh, this. Was, this was also a pretty emotional day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. Whoa, whoa, it's him. The, uh, the crew presented Jonathan with a giant uh, photo of uh, Brian and Aaron and, and Jonathan that was signed by everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he gave a, Jonathan gave a very great speech about the crew. Well, they are. They, that's a crew. That's a... That, Tell me if I did not, I've never been with a better crew ever. Same. 
You, you got it, buddy. A great crew. Get it to me as soon as possible. You know how thick the crap storm is out there because of this? I told you not to use that lawyer. He's a hack. Yeah, and coming into that, and also shout outs to, you know, I said Nina Jack, but Michael Slevis also saved my ass multiple times on yeah. this. I didn't. I didn't plan on doing that upshot that we had earlier in the scene. That's beautiful. But, oh yeah, uh, you didn't. I didn't. I wasn't gonna do it because I just, I just, again, we were always racing time, and he was like, "Let's get a piece of glass in here, and let's just put the camera underneath, and nice, have the guys standing over it." So I was like, "Yeah, great, nice. thank you. <laughs> let's do it." I didn't think we had time to do it, but he, he made it happen. Get this back. I had to get that shot twice, right? right? Yeah, you couldn't quite tell that it was a gun. Yeah. It was a the black holster, so we went. that was a pickup of yeah. that uh, POV. Not that anybody did anything wrong, just sometimes you, you have to pick stuff up, get it a second time. Oh, man. That's the Rio Grande. That yeah. is the Rio Grande, yeah. This is a piece of pro actually Famous. private property on the on the Rio Grande, which I, th I, I hear is pretty rare. Is it Grande or Grande? Grande. Grande. It's a Grande. That's what you get in Starbucks. Rio Grande. <laughs> and this... This is all one piece of, I mean, this is all one area, right? Yeah. This he literally yeah. is just up from the yes. yeah. Yeah, water there. Yeah, the water's right right down the hill there. These that was a great, long... Great trees. All these cottonwoods. Cottonwoods. Is it a long day, Jonathan? No, I was going to say or, or it was long a, walk. Long, a long walk. Beautiful shot. There's lots of teary eyes that week. Yeah, this, it was also a long day for Jonathan. We started very early in the morning to do that well scene yeah. for him, and, and we took it right up until the right, sun yeah. went down here. Something this is a great scene. And what's that? The names of your nine men. So yeah, we, we got a lot done that day. I mean, all this the the, the gunshot coming up was all special effects stuff that uh, Skip can speak to how they they married all that together. Oh yeah, chassis. yeah. Talk about that, Skip. About the the gunshot effect that's yeah. coming up. The gunshot. Well, they take. As Tom knows, he shot a lot of pieces for it. So we we take those pieces and and try to layer them. And, you know, there was one, a clean shot just of the window breaking. And then from inside, there was Jonathan in the car. And then there was one where Walt walks up. So we, we take it and we, we layer them together and send them out to a visual effects house. And they clean them up and, and make it look like it was one shot. Nice. So, for instance, th that was done because, the, as you just said, the shot of the glass breaking, Jonathan was not anywhere present for that because it could have hurt him, could have gotten his eyes or could have injured him, right? You're Is that how, right. why that's done yeah. that way? Yeah, yeah so they, they did have to, a, to protect the actors. Gotcha. They, they had a little trap, a little door that swung open on command when Jonathan was in the car and they had like rubber glass fall on him. So there was some glass interacting with his body and then gotcha. there was a separate blood, well, then blood why squid. Didn't, that why didn't we do that in season four when I get shot and it all blows up into my face? Uh, you weren't as valuable. You weren't as valuable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not, nothing could ever happen here. Don't worry. <laughs> and this again, this is for me an easy scene to direct. I just was like, these guys get together and they're they just, just go at it. Just let them go. Yeah. Just let them go. <laughs> this is a great bit of acting. Both both guys here are just you wonderful. The man, if you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. Uh, I love that. Mm. <laughs> mm. This couldn't have happened earlier on in the seasons, because Walt, uh, through his transition, has become more impulsive, more prone to emotional outbursts that he that. wasn't yeah. uh, prior. Uh, now right. he's just. Bitful. You're just uh, impulse control lacking. Yeah. 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 God. As, and that's a stuntman driving off? That's a stuntman. Yeah. I was like, uh, going into this, I was like, okay, what safety features do we have? Well, I'm just gonna dri I'm just gonna drive this into a rock. Yeah. That's all it was. <laughs> it's amazing. That stuntman's name is Paul Short, and he's he's doubled for me a bunch of times, and uh, ah. good guy, and puts it all out there. Yeah, and it was all in one take. He drove into the rock, got out of the car without any of us seeing, and went yeah. down the hill. So he literally, it almost, when I first saw the footage, I was like, wait a minute, where'd the guy go? That seemed a little fakey. But he literally, in the shot, in the got, shot. Yeah. got out, out. In and you didn't see it. Shot. Well, this was uh, a very tearful moment for most of us here on the on the set to, to say goodbye to 
one of our great characters on the show. But I thought Vince's first draft, uh, the lines were terrific. Um, Walt comes up to, to Mike and says, you know why I'm doing this. There's just too many bald-headed characters on this show. Someone's got to go. And that's when I shoot him. But he rethought that and, and changed the dialogue a little bit and made some, <laughs> made some adjustments. Uh, JB, we love you. And, uh, and we're so grateful that you were able to join us on this, man. And uh, it was an honor to kill you. <laughs> I, hope, I hope we get an opportunity to work together again and, uh, and you know, maybe switch places. You could do me in. Take care, brother. I want to end this by saying, uh, Banks, it was an absolute honor, my friend, having you on this show. I got it, hey, buddy. I love you. I love all of you. And right now is about where I'm going to fall over. And, uh, you know, going through this day was, if I didn't end up a blubbering mess, it was a miracle, and I didn't, so that's a good thing. But, Vince... Tom, you gave me one of the great characters of all time. I really believe that. I think Mike, I think we all want to be Mike in some way. And uh, and it was uh, an honor of a lifetime. Thank you. Wow. God bless you, brother. You Love did you, a buddy. wonderful, wonderful job. And who would have thought in that first episode you were in, I mean, so we saw Jonathan Banks coming in to read for us in that first episode. We're like, oh, my God, we got to hire this guy. He's, he's the best. I've loved him for years and years. Who would have thought? I never thought in that early days that Mike would be so integrally important mm -hmm. to Breaking Bad. But it's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's a, a tribute to the actor, to Jonathan Banks, yeah. because he made the character that important to us. It was not our perception that he would be that important from the get-go. And uh, the man is so great, we had to keep him around. Absolutely. It was just a great pleasure to work with him. Great pleasure. Work with you, Jonathan. I love you all. I'm out of here. I'm taking the headsets off. Love you. Love you. God bless you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Skip. Bye. 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 Bye.